Hello everyone, I am Dr. Pranit Ram. I am a consultant nephrologist and renal transplant physician working in Yashoda Hospital, Second Bar Branch. Today, I am here with you people to discuss regarding the global burden of kidney diseases and also the importance of the World Kidney Day. As per the WHO estimates, 10 people out of 100 are suffering with kidney diseases. And out of these 10 patients, 5 to 8 patients don't know that they are having the kidney disease. This is because the kidney diseases are silent and these manifestations won't manifest until their kidney gets lost by about 50 to 80 percent. And these symptoms are very vague. For example, they present with abdominal pain, vomitings, nausea and headache like that. And these symptoms may occur in other uh, diseases also. And once the kidney's function is lost, the patient may have to opt for either dialysis or the transplant. The transplant is considered to be far superior than the dialysis. Though the transplant is a better modality, many patients may not be accessible to the uh, renal transplant because of the financial issues, donor issues, or the problem with the recipient himself. Though every year, the number of patients on dialysis waiting for the renal transplant are increasing. As per the WHO estimate, by 2050, kidney diseases will add to the list of the top five causes of the death. So the only way to counter this oncoming silent wave is to create awareness and bridge the knowledge gap in the general public. So in 2006, the ISN, International Society of Nephrology and International Federation of Kidney Foundation has jointly started World Kidney Day program. This is a general health awareness campaign to create awareness about the kidney diseases and also every year they release a theme to create the awareness this year the theme is kidney health for all preparing for the untowards events uh, preventing the vulnerable population this theme was basically released based on the recent events like turkey earthquake russia ukraine war and covid 19 pandemic here the vulnerable population means the patients who are at risk of developing the kidney diseases like diabetes, hypertension, obesity, etc. And also the patients who are suffering with kidney diseases like patients on dialysis, renal transplant patients and the patients with chronic kidney diseases. Lastly, to keep our kidneys healthy, they have also released 8 goals. Keep fit and be active, eat healthy diet, check and monitor your blood pressures, check and monitor your blood sugars, take appropriate fluid intake daily, do not smoke, avoid the over-the-counter drugs like NSAIDs and the painkillers. Lastly, check and monitor your renal function, especially if you are having risk factors like diabetes, hypertension, obesity, and family history of kidney disease.